Dublin Institute of Technology, commonly referred to as DIT Irish, was a major third-level institution in Dublin, Ireland. On 1 January 2019 DIT was dissolved and its functions were transferred to the Technological University Dublin. The institution began with the establishment of the first technical education institution in Ireland, in 1887, and progressed through various legal and governance models, culminating in autonomy under a statute of 1992. DIT was recognized particularly for degree programs in product design, mechanical engineering, architecture, engineering, science, marketing, hospitality, music, optometry, pharmaceuticals, construction, digital media and journalism. It was ranked, in 2014, in Times Higher Education's top 100 university level institutions globally under 50 years old. Influential contributions to policy debates have often placed DIT at the heart of many diverse aspects of public life in Dublin. Alumni of the Dublin Institute of Technology include many of Ireland's leading writers, artists, politicians and business leaders as well as many international figures successful in arts, architecture and business. DIT students have come from all parts of the world. Spin-out businesses from DIT employ over 1400 people. History Topic <inaudible> Origins Dublin's Technical Colleges The first of DIT's predecessor colleges, the City of Dublin Technical Schools, was founded in 1887 by Arnold Felix Graves. Over time, other specialized colleges opened, and those which later formed DIT are listed, each with its year of foundation. College of Technology, Kevin Street 1887. College of Music, Chatham Row 1890. College of Commerce, Rathmines 1901. College of Marketing and Design, Mountjoy Square, 1905. College of Technology, Bolton Street, 1911. College of Catering, Cathal Brugge Street, 1941. Topic: Federal Model, 1978 to 1992. In 1978 the College of Technology joined with the other five institutions to form the Dublin Institute of Technology, a federation of colleges. <laughs> <laughs> Unitary college model In 1992, Dublin Institute of Technology was established by legislation as a single institution, under the Dublin Institute of Technology Act. <laughs> Towards university status An application for university designation in 1996 was declined but with the expert panel viewing the institution as on a trajectory for university designation. Dublin Institute of Technology now has a scope of activities and variety of powers identical to those of a university, and its degrees are recognised as such both in Ireland and internationally. For 25 years, DIT has had legislative authority to award bachelor's, master's and doctoral degrees that comply fully with the Irish National Qualifications Framework originally put in place by the National Qualifications Authority of Ireland. DIT has awarded professorships since 2003. Topic 
Topic: Technological University Status. In 2014, the institution entered into a formal process which led to its designation as a technological university, jointly with two other institutions, Institute of Technology, Blanchardstown and Institute of Technology, Talect. A final application was submitted in April 2018 and the formation of the Technological University Dublin, to Dublin was approved in July 2018. It was launched 1 January 2019. Degree awarding powers In 1975 the University of Dublin entered into an agreement whereby it conferred academic degrees at the colleges that formed Dublin Institute of Technology, this allowed these graduates a vote in the University of Dublin constituency for CNAD ARN representatives. This continued until 1998, when Dublin Institute of Technology was granted its own autonomous degree awarding powers under the Dublin Institute of Technology Act 1992. <laughs> <laughs> Academic structure DIT's predecessor colleges were recognized as centers of excellence in their areas of specialism and, following the establishment of the unitary DIT, their expertise formed the nucleus of an internal structure comprising the following faculties and campuses. Faculty of Applied Arts, Mountjoy Square, Rathmines, Clarendon Row, Portland Row, Temple Bar, Faculty of the Built Environment, Bolton Street and Linenhall Faculty of Business, Mountjoy Square and Rathmines, latterly Ongier Street Faculty of Engineering, Bolton Street, Kevin Street, Beresford Street Faculty of Science, Kevin Street Faculty of Tourism and Food, Cathalbrugge Street, Sackville Place and Kevin Street From 2012 to 2018, DIT was organized into four colleges, Engineering and Built Environment, Business, Science and Health, and Arts and Tourism. These also contributed to the research activities of an overarching graduate research school and to four cross-institutional research institutes that brought together over 70 research centers and groups. The colleges in turn were divided into 27 schools. DIT also had various technology transfer and commercial units. Topic. Governance DIT has a governing body comprising representatives of public, including Dublin Lord Mayors such as formerly Maurice Ahern and Mary Freehill, social and industrial groups, faculty, staff and students, it is chaired by Professor Tom Collins. In 1992 Michael O'Donnell became the first interim president. He was succeeded as president in 1993 by Brendan Goldsmith. Topic. Faculty Current faculty include David Brophy, conductor, Grain Mulvey, composer, Bernie Sherlock, conductor, Jane O'Leary, pianist and composer, John Feely, guitarist, Kieran Hanrahan, traditional Irish musician, Mike Nielsen, jazz guitarist and composer, Kieran Cuff, urban planner, Mertan Mac Con Iomare, culinary arts. Previous faculty members include Pat Kenny, Radio Tylifies Ayaran, RTE and News Talk, News and Current Affairs presenter, Joan Burton, Teach Dalla, TD, Minister for Social Protection, Frank Hart, Irish traditional singer and architect, Hugh McFadden, 
poet, Sean Dublin Bay Rockall Loftus, politician, Brid Grant, Dean of Arts, University of Connecticut, Desmond Fennell, writer and cultural philosopher, Lelia Doolin, TV and film producer, Peter Sutherland, lawyer and politician. John T. Lewis, mathematician and physicist and Bernadette Grevy, mezzo-soprano. Research Dedicated research facilities include the Focus Research Institute with extensive spectroscopy, microscopy and holography facilities. It also houses CREST, an international centre supported by Enterprise Ireland for paint and surface coating development. Antennae Research is associated with the multi-institution CTVR, the Centre for Telecommunications Value Added Research. Recently research supported by Science Foundation Ireland in the Dublin Energy Lab, Water Sciences, Air Quality, Food Preservation and Environmental Health and Safety are being co-located in a major new building at the Grangegorman New City Centre campus together with an additional hot house startup business incubator for new DIT spin-off companies. Hothouse has nurtured, amongst other firms, Smart Wall Paint and Miletist. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> National Optometry Center. The National Optometry Center (NOC), located at the junction of Kevin Street and New Bride Street, is a state-of-the-art facility and the only such center in Ireland. The main function of the NOC is to facilitate clinical training for optometry students. The center is developing specialized clinics in areas such as pediatrics, low vision and contact lenses. It will also offer eye examinations, spectacles and contact lenses to the general public. Free eye examinations are offered to DIT students. Topic. Partnerships In common with other Irish universities, DIT validates programmes taught in other institutions in Dublin such as Pulse College, based in the Windmill Lane Studios, the Digital Skills Academy and the British and Irish Modern Music Institute BA programme. There are extensive student exchange and joint research programs with leading universities in India, China, Brazil, Australia, the USA and across Europe. DIT are lead partners in the Mozambique Eye Care Project. As part of the project, an undergraduate course in optometry has been established at Universidade Lario, Nampula. The first of its kind in Mozambique. Other partners on the project are University of Ulster and International Centre for Eye Care Education. There are strong links with Darmstadt University of Applied Sciences across many subjects, with Columbia College Chicago in Design and Media and with Purdue University across many disciplines including a joint master's degree program. There are strong student and staff exchanges with Grenoble School of Management. DIT accredits programs at Middle East College in Oman. Topic ranking Dublin Institute of Technology was named Best Institute of Technology in 2010 and 2016 by the Sunday Times. It came 94th in the 2014 and 2015 Times Higher Education 100 under 50 ranking of universities worldwide. It came 157th in the UI Green Metric Ranking of World Universities in 2013. 
The 2012 QS World University Rankings puts DIT in the 451-500 bracket worldwide and in the 350th position for engineering and technology. DIT's best result in the same ranking was when it came 326th in the worldwide ranking in 2009. Topic. Community outreach Embedded in the life of Dublin City Centre, DIT has built very strong and diverse links with its neighbouring communities and schools. The Access and Civic Engagement Service provides extensive programmes that enable those from traditionally underrepresented groups to study at DIT. These include many highly successful access routes for children in secondary schools where there has been no tradition of continuing to third-level education. It has also made even earlier interventions in schools, for example the Pathways Through Education supports students in making the transition into secondary school. Topic. Campus Dublin Institute of Technology is spread across ten locations in Dublin City, which are currently being amalgamated into a central campus at Grangegorman. <laughs> Grangegorman Campus The Institute plans to consolidate to a single campus in the centre of Dublin, at Grangegorman. The campus is located one kilometre from O'Connell Street, with Smithfield to the south, Stonybatter to the west, Broadstone to the east, and Fibsborough and the North Circular Road to the north. The Grangegorman campus is currently home to students in fine art, product design, visual communications, photography and social sciences. The development of the new consolidated city centre campus is undertaken by the Grangegorman Development Agency. The campus is served by the Lewis Green Line and the closest station is Grangegorman. An adjacent station, DIT Broadstone, is operational although at present there is no direct access to the campus. This will be opened up once the development of the campus is complete. <laughs> <laughs> Students Dublin Institute of Technology had circa 20,000 students. Topic: Students Union. The DIT Students Union is the representative body for all students in the Dublin Institute of Technology and it ensures there is a student voice at each level within the college. All students within the institute are automatically members. In addition it promotes clubs, societies and other non-academic activities and provides a range of services for its members. Topic. Sport DIT has more than 40 student clubs, including Gaelic Athletic Association, football, handball, rifle shooting, waterpolo, archery, basketball, kite surfing, cricket and many more. In 2013 Dublin Institute of Technology won the Sigerson Cup, the premier Gaelic football championship among Irish higher education institutions. DIT's Hurlers won the Kyo Cup in 2007 and the Walsh Cup Shield in 2013. Outdoor and indoor sports facilities are being developed at Grangegorman and at Broom Bridge. The latter is adjacent to Broombridge Railway Station and the Canal Bridge where Sir William Rowan Hamilton first wrote the fundamental formula for Quaternions. <laughs> 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 
Topic: Notable alumni. Topic: See also. Education in the Republic of Ireland. List of higher education institutions in the Republic of Ireland. Grange Gorman Development Agency.